Hello there everybody, Sam Strains here, welcome back to the railway and welcome back to yet another Backman Thomas and Friends unboxing. Today I'm slightly gutted because I don't own a yellow shirt and the engines we're going to be looking at today are yellow and I try to wear the right colour shirt for these Thomas videos but uh, no I don't own a yellow shirt and uh, I'm sorry to anybody who does but uh, I'm not too keen on yellow shirts. Anyway, no offence, obviously. Okay, so as you can tell by the title, you guys are clever. I don't know how you managed to work it out. We're looking at Bill and Ben today, who are lovely little 040 tank engines, um, and we're going to be unboxing them both, so you get two for one today. And I thought I'd better just explain where I got these from, because it is always a little bit tricky to get these Backman Locos over here in the UK. So I bought both of these. I got a good deal from a shop online called The Diesel Works. And I think this was the best price at the time. I've got uh, both of them for £100. It was like a, a pack. You got them both together for £100. So go check them out, the diesel works. If you're in the UK and you want to get these Thomas models, uh, that is a very good site. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, let's get these open and uh, see what they're like then, shall we? And I think we'll start with Bill first, just because uh, he's always said first, isn't he, for some reason. So I'll put Ben to one side just for a second. And as always, I, th I seem to say this every single time, I'm not going to spend any time looking at the packaging because we're all quite familiar with it now. But I have got to comment on how hilarious his face looks inside the packaging. I don't know what he's on, but uh, he certainly looks uh, slightly uncomfortable, doesn't he, to be inside there. So let's get him out as soon as possible. And yes, uh, just for safety's sake, I've already cooked the bottom of these... Uh, so that we can get them out nice and easily and uh, you could do that as well because as I always say it's great you can just stick them back into the packaging like this and then they're nice and safe but uh, first then let me grab the instruction sheet which uh, once again I've never looked at before I've never had a reason to get them out yet and uh, yep here it is oh my goodness gracious I think this is the scariest face look at these they've got like the uh, the mesh from the uh, design presumably you know the 3d design of their faces Wow, that is uh, very scary indeed. But no, you've got the rest of the parts all listed there, which is very, very good if you ever need spares. So that's fair enough. And uh, yep, yeah, always quite interesting to look at those, I reckon. Okay, let's get old Bill out then and see what he's like. So let me just grab the plastic. All right then, and here he is in his little tray. Okay, let's get him out. And I was very impressed by the size of these. I don't know whether they're in HO scale rather than double O, but I suppose that's possible. There he is then, there is Bill, and uh, as a person who really likes odd-looking locomotives, uh, I really like Bill and Ben because just look how squashed they look. I think they've got a really, really unusual shape about them, and uh, we'll talk more about that later on. But there he is then, Bill, with uh, his Bill nameplate on the side, and his face still looks... Uh, a, a tad odd, I must admit, but uh, yep, yeah, that's him, that's Bill. Okay, let's get Ben out then. Uh, should be a little bit quicker because, uh, yeah, it's exactly the same. It's just got uh, a Ben nameplate on it. I think that is all. Oh, no, we've got different faces, I think. I'm sorry. Okay, let's grab him out. Here he is. So that's quite nice because with um, Ari and Bert and with Donald and Douglas, the two were exactly identical except for their nameplates um, and a very slight difference on Ari and Bert's face. But apart from that, the models were identical. But it does look like these have got slightly different faces, which is uh, very nice to see. And of course, you have got the different uh, nameplates there. So uh, there we are then, there's Bill and Ben. And yes, uh, what lovely twins these are. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of history on Bill and Ben, a bit of info about them. And uh, once I've done that, we'll uh, review these up close. All right, hope you enjoy it. All right, a few quick shout outs then. We have WA Model Railway Boys, Because I'm Batman, not me personally, that's his channel name, and the Multiple YouTube. Hello to everybody there, and thank you so much for getting in touch. Hope you enjoy the video. So just like Donald and Douglas, Bill and Ben were also twins who worked together at the China Clay Company on Sodor. They're based on Bagnall 040 saddle tank engines, and they're both quite mischievous little logos. Bill and Ben are very proud of their unusual appearance too, and they love to be photographed at the docks, where they can often be found working too. Although the twins are harmless, they often annoy the other engines on Sodor by teasing them and playing tricks. They arrived on Sodor nearly 70 years ago in 1948, and they've worked there together ever since. So there he is then, Bill, up against the white background, and I've got to admit I love these already, just because they've got such character, quite a bit of detail, as you can tell already, and also, as I've already mentioned, that uh, very unusual shape. Now, there are actually a couple of differences between the Bill and Ben models, uh, so I thought I'd address those first. The first one is one we've already talked about, and that is the face, and uh, here is Bill's face, uh, which has got a very sort of crazed, eye-popping look on it. 
uh, which is terrifying. I can't think of a better word than terrifying. Uh, so yeah, that's that. But uh, in fact, Ben's face is quite the opposite. Uh, it seems like his eyes are almost closed. They, well, they seem to be closing anyway. And he's got kind of a, a goofy look on his face as well. But uh, that is quite nice because you can tell them apart, uh, other than just the, their nameplates, of course, which is another small difference. Uh, but obviously it would be strange if Ben said Bill. We, uh, we'd be quite confusing, really. So I'm glad they didn't do that. The other difference, which I was very, very impressed with, to be honest, is the whistle. If we look at Bill's whistle just here in the coal bunker, which is another odd thing, which we'll talk about in a second, you can see his whistle has a little sort of pipe coming out the back of it, uh, which is fair enough, I suppose. But then if you look at Ben's, you can see that there isn't anything like that on Ben. He's just got a straight whistle, which comes straight up out of the coal. Now, when I first saw that, I thought, well, obviously my Ben whistle has just broken in the packaging. You know, it's just missing the bit at the back. But I've looked at the instructions and the instructions actually show two different whistles for Bill and Ben. So, considering that these are toys, it's amazing that Backman have actually managed to capture this tiny little detail, uh, a tiny little difference between the two models. I would never have expected them to do something like that. So, excellent marks there. I mean, that is, that's very good attention to detail, isn't it? Okay, let's have a look at some of the other details then. The painted detail, for, for a start, is uh, quite impressive. I must admit that mine have a little bit of blemishing on them. If we look at uh, Bill's uh, saddle tank here, you can see that there's a little bit of uh, dodginess around the, the lining there, and that there's a bit of a... a a splodge, I don't know what you'd call it. Uh, yeah, it's just it's just not quite as pristine as some of them have been. But I must admit there's plenty of detail. So you've got the Sodor China Company or China Clay. It's something like that I would assume it stands for, uh, which is in very bright text. I don't know if you'll be able to see that too well, but it is there. You can trust me on that. Then you've got the Bill nameplate, uh, which of course says Ben on Ben, as you'd expect. Uh, but again, that is just painted on, but uh, nonetheless quite a nice touch. And then you've got this very beautiful red lining, which uh, is all over the loco, really. You've got it on the tank, of course. Uh, you've got it just in front of the cab on the coal bunker here. You've got it on the cylinders. You've got it on this little box, which I suppose could be a, a tool chest or something like that. But it really is so lovely to see uh, such a lot of lining on uh, what is really a basic uh, kids model. I think that really brings it up in terms of uh, the quality and the thought that's gone into it, of course. There's a fair few parts uh, that I'm not too sure whether they're separately fitted or just separately painted. But of course you've got the chimney there, which uh, is a separately painted piece. At the very least it could be separately fitted as well. Then you've got the cap, which would in real life come off so that you could put the water into the tanks, I assume. And then of course you've just got the usual stuff, such as the buffers and the, the little coupling hooks at the back there, which is fair enough. And this model, quite nicely, also has the rods and the working cylinders, as you can see, which is very, very lovely to see, especially on an 040 locomotive, and uh, we'll see that working later on, of course. And uh, the last thing I'm going to talk about is, yes, the coal bunker. Very unusually, the coal is at the front of the cab rather than at the back, which uh, I found to be very, very bizarre. I don't know if they were like that in real life. It's possible, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, I just found that really bizarre, and I don't know how that would work for a fireman. But uh, obviously it did. Well, it did with Bill and Ben anyway. Anyway, that's the models then. I'm not going to show you Ben because he is exactly the same, apart from, of course, the details I've already mentioned. But uh, I'm desperate to get them running on the layout, and I'm sure you are as well. So let's get that done now and see how they run, shall we? Okay, so there's Bill and Ben looking very lovely together down onto the track, and I'm going to test those in just a second, but first of all I'll show you what they're going to be pulling. So they're going to be pulling separate trains, um, Bill has got some ocean wagons and Ben has got just some sort of uh, reddish brown wagons. Both trains are the same length, uh, but I've just given them different wagons because I thought that would be quite an interesting thing to do. So performance then, uh, the first thing I noticed was that the wheels are very, very close together. And so that made me wonder whether the short wheelbase of those is going to affect them on points and things. So I'm going to get Ben just to run over these express points and the dead spot is just there where my finger is. So I think I might just turn the camera around so that you get a better view of that. So we'll see if he can get over that dead spot without stopping. I th think it'll be quite interesting to see see whether he does so there we go nice crawl I'm not going to be too nasty and make him go super slow over them but as you can see yes that's the problem because he's got such a small wheel base there's probably a moment there where both wheels yes both wheels are on the insulated part so unless you're going quickly they're not going to make it over the express points give him a bit of a hand there right for the backwards trip let's go a little bit quicker and as you can see, he gets away with it with just a momentary stop. 
yeah, you just hear him cut out there. So that isn't too bad, but I must say, look at that, look at that slow speed performance. Hang on, let's do it again. That is uh, not to be sniffed at, is it? That really is good. Let's bring him back forwards again. Is he still in focus? Go on forwards, love. I mean, mate, I don't know. What do you call him? Very, very good. Let's see if Bill's as good as well. With his uh, slightly manic expression. And by the way, of course, these do have the moving eyes. And I'm going to put uh, the camera in front of them later on so that you can see the eyes move. But as you can tell, Bill has just got, uh, you know, the same mechanism, so he's just as good. I must admit, though, Ben is a lot faster than Bill. Bill doesn't seem to go as quick, so, yes, dodgy Backman Motors once again, but never mind. Okay, here we go. Let's go and couple to the rolling stock, then. Uh, let's send Ben first. There we go. And Bill can follow. Oh, go on, go the right way. There we go. Bill's managed to overtake. But there we have it. Perfect, absolutely brilliant. Okay, so when I drive them off, I think we'll move the camera and put it just in front of Bill so you can see his eyes going. Okay, let's do that then. Okay, here goes then. Let's uh, give Bill a little try. Forwards, if you will. All right, let's see if we can get those eyes moving. Yeah, there they go. Okay, let's get Ben started. See if we can catch him up. He's coming. <laughs> yeah, very good effort. And on the inside line, I thought I would run another 040 from Thomas and Friends. So here is Percy, Percy the green tank engine, with a little bit of a mail train. Hopefully he's going to manage that okay today. And also keep an eye out on the layout because there are lots of other 040s, just like Percy and Bill and Ben. So see if you can count how many there are and tell me in the comments. Alright, enjoy the running session. Well, I started Bill and Ben running side by side, but inevitably they get split up in the end, but there they are, sort of together there. <laughs> Bless them. They are nice, though, and they do seem to run very well. I mean, they don't seem to struggle too much with their short wheelbase. I think maybe I ought to sh slow Bill down a little bit because he's starting to get away from Ben, but uh, that's all right. In fact, they're not too bad, are they? But you can see on the straights, He's getting away a little bit. Although, I reckon Ben might be catching him up a little bit. Well, this could be interesting, couldn't it? Let's have a let's follow them round and see what happens. No, maybe not. I think Bill is further away from Ben this time around. Oh well, never mind. I'll slow Bill down a touch. There he goes, going a little bit more slowly now. Hopefully, Ben will get a chance to catch up now. Hopefully, you never know. There they go around the track. And we'll wait here for Percy, shall we? Because he won't be long. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Now, Percy's obviously got a little... His wheels aren't quite as close together as Bill and Ben. So he can do express points quite happily. Oh, very good. And now for my ratings then for the very lovely Bill and Ben by Backman. Detail, 5 out of 10. Not a brilliant detail score, of course, but it is better, I think, than some of the others. I don't count the detail, though, because obviously they're not really designed to be detailed. And if Backman had wanted them to have more detail, we know that they are capable of doing that. But no, these are toys, so uh, we don't need to worry about the detail too much with these. Performance, 8 out of 10. As you can tell, they do run fairly well, but their short wheelbase means that they are very sensitive to dead spots in the track, so points, or any dirt which might be on the track. And, you know, let's face it, uh, kids aren't necessarily going to want to be taking care of their track all that much. So, yeah, they will struggle on dirty track. Uh, character, 10 out of 10, though. Absolutely beautiful. They've both got uh, different features, which means you can tell them apart. And, of course, they're just so unusual looking. Uh, I personally find them absolutely brilliant. Build quality, 9 out of 10. Apart from the odd little nick to the paintwork, uh, where it's been slightly clumsily applied, they are very well built. And they are solid and they are quite heavy. So, uh, very, very good marks there. Value, not absolutely fantastic. I paid £100 for both of these, which uh, makes it £50 each. And £50 for an 040 for a child's toy 040 seems a little bit steep, so I've given them 6 out of 10 there. Overall, though, 8.52 out of 10. Still a very good score, and that ranks them 23rd, just above Emily and Bill O'Donnell and Douglas, just in between there. Very nice. I don't believe it. Ben's overtaken Bill now. 
As I say, it's very hard to get them to run together because the different tracks are different lengths, so... Oh well. Maybe uh, Ben's had a bit of help. I don't know. Possibly. Percy's still trundling along. He's not taking any notice of Bill and Ben. I bet they're trying to tease him. Because they are a bit faster than poor Percy. Wow. Ben's flying out in the lead now. <laughs> they're very competitive, aren't they? Are they competitive in the show? These models are, that's, that's for certain. Okay then everybody, well I hope you enjoyed seeing Bill and Ben run today, even though they couldn't seem to stay together, bless them. I don't know, maybe they're sick of each other. Or maybe, yeah, Bill's just too crazy for Ben, I don't know. But either way, hope you enjoyed seeing them. If you did, please feel free to leave the video a like or even a comment because that really does help me out. And also if you'd like to, feel free to check out the Facebook or Twitter pages, which are facebook.com forward slash samstrains or twitter.com forward slash samstrains. My giveaway is still open and you can have a chance to win your very own Backman Spencer model. So if you'd like that, uh, just subscribe to the channel and go and enter on that video which came out a week or two ago, so uh, yep, uh, don't miss out on that. The deadline is the end of November, so you've still got a little while yet. And I think that's just about it. Here's a little update on the Wall of Fame. I have printed out some pictures recently, and uh, so if you can see yours, that's fantastic. And obviously, if you'd like to have your picture go up onto the Wall of Fame, that's absolutely fine. All you've got to do is email it to me at samstrains at Outlook.com and I'll print them off and put them up and then you might see your picture on the Wall of Fame. But for now folks, thanks once again for watching. I don't know where Ben has gone. Just Bill on his own now. Ben coming? Oh yeah, just coming now. <laughs> Bless them. Anyway, that's it folks. Thanks for watching once again and I'll see you next time. Cheers everybody.